Hello, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. And today I'm going to show you how to color match when you're doing a composite. I've watched people do it in so many different ways. Sometimes they'll take something and they'll look and they'll go to threshold and try and wait until something turns black and then you have to pick the colors and choose all the color numbers. And I guess that works, but I think I've found an easier way and I'm sure if I'm doing something wrong, uh, someone will put it in the comments. But here's what I figured out how to do. So I am trying to take this girl and these children and, and put them into this photo. I'm not trying to do, worry about size or lighting or anything. We're just trying to do color matches. So let's work with the girl first. So the first thing we want to do, we need to be able to find out how we're going to match this girl into this photo because she looks completely different. So rather than try all these color numbers that everyone seems to be showing, I've seen Photoshop tutorials as well as Affinity Photo tutorials about that. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go into the swatch palette and right here in the hamburger menu, I'm going to say create palette from image and it wants to me to select the image so I'm going to select and I am going to find that image which is let's see I'm gonna find that image right here and say open and right below it says number of colors instead of whatever you can put any number you want you can do a full palette if you want I'm going to choose three and then hit preview and these are the three colors now unless I'm not understanding this correctly I would think that this would be the highlight this would be the midtone and this would be the shadows in this photo I could be wrong but this is how I tried to do it and it seemed to work for me so let's hit create and now we have your palettes up here there's only three colors in your palette so let's take the girl and go to adjustment gradient map and it looks really crazy first thing we're going to do is pull the gradient map to just affect the girl and we know that she's darker here so let's choose the red seems to be the dark tone so I am going to choose brown for my color up here and then I'll go to color drag it over to here to that brown and say and click here to do okay then I'll take the midtone I'll pick the midtone color in our palette and drag that over here and do that and we're okay there and then I'm going to take the blue and that would be the highlight that would be that tan in our palette so we click here and we match the tan up and that's that and then we say we're done and now what we do is take the gradient map and say color color blend mode and it's going to be way too strong so all you have to do now and it depends on the actual photo is what it looks like now you slowly bring it up until you feel it works right there and you want to know something I think that's pretty good maybe maybe let's try a little bit different let's go whoops let's see a little more maybe let's keep a little bit of a red cheeks in there okay so this is before and after so now we're going to try the boys now I've already created a mask here but I'll show you very quickly how I created it I'm going to choose the selection brush tool and kind of go around here and get what I can uh, let's grab his hands I'm using the left and right bracket. Left bracket makes it, his hand go, uh, the brush go smaller. Right bracket makes it go larger. So I'm adding all this to it. I want all of this. 
Let's grab him, grab him up here. And then with the Alt or Option key, we subtract it out. Well, you get the idea. And then you make a mask out of it. And, and I spent a little bit more time. I'm not really concerned about teaching mask, but that's how I would do it. And I would have clicked mask. Oops, sorry. And that's how I would have done it. And I would have clicked mask. But since I already created a mask, I'm going to delete that one and turn this one on. So, so now watch this. Instead of going through all that again, what I'm doing is, remember when we did the girl here? I'm going to take her gradient map adjustment. I'm going to duplicate that with a command or control J. And then I'm dragging that right under the boys. And now remember, each photo is a little bit different. So that's too much of a, an opacity uh, percentage. So I'm going to bring this one down right like that. And maybe still with the girl, I think I'll bring her back a little bit, a little bit more color. And about like maybe like that. All right. So now I'm going to show you something. So let's just get rid of layer merge visible. So you could see it here, but now let's turn that off and let's turn these on. So this is the before. And this is the after. And you can make some more adjustments. For example, you may want to, on the girl itself, do another adjustment layer. And this time, you can, you can tweak it by doing curves. If I could find it. There we go, curves. And you might want to tweak this just a little bit. For example, maybe, maybe you want to, whoops. We're going to bring the curves only to affect her. So maybe you want to bring a little bit of shadow down, shadow and highlights with a little S curve like that. And let's see, there's before, that's before and that's after. That kind of brings it out. So there you go. So if you like this tutorial, uh, please subscribe. I know many of you have been watching the videos because it shows up on my YouTube channel. Please, I need subscriptions, so please subscribe so that I can get this channel monetized. Thank you so much. Bye.